Hey, you clicked on a nail art tutorial. Again? Why? <laughs> well, today we'll be making some Menarca butterfly wings and you'll be confused, but it'll work out fine, trust me. Start out with your ace code of preference. As always, I use the pearl of ace code because after many years of simply illogical, I have an obsession. So, now is the part where you're gonna get confused. This is my gradient base color. And as you can see, it's a beautiful brown, orange color, deep, it's just gorgeous. It's called No Filter by Color Club. And the reason why you're gonna get confused is because this is not the lighter color in my gradient, but I am still using it as my base color, which of course would be wrong. You have to use the lighter color. But the reason why I'm using this will come up shortly. Hold on. Now, a very important part of the nail art process is to design what is it that you exactly wanna have in your nails. As you can see, this is a perfect representation of my design abilities. Now, this is uh, some liquid latex I'll be applying around my nail for further gradient so that I don't have to clean up with acetone all over my finger later. And it's just a generic brand from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. It's cheap and it's large and you just have to move it with, with, with a syringe or something to a tinier vial for application. It's very easy. Cutting off the edge of a makeup sponge so that um, we can start making the, the gradient. So now here comes the confusing part I explained at the beginning. This is a neon yellow by Color Club called Rum Running and this other color is called um, Honey Nectar by Koki Cosmetics. So the thing about gradients is that you have to start with the base color as a lighter color of your gradient. Unfortunately, the only yellow color I have in my collection is this neon very bright yellow color. So it was not gonna work well as part of the butterfly's wings because if you see a monarcha butterfly, their colors are not neon, they're just like very beautiful blended yellows and oranges and browns. So I decided that maybe I would try to apply the yellow color over the darker maroon and see if that would help uh, normalizing the color a bit and taking off that neon edge and it kind of did like it came out well I mean you can see in this first dab there's not much of it but it already resembles a lot how the monarcha butterfly wing looks so I think at the end of it although it's not the proper way of making a gradient it worked out pretty fine now the thing is that I never know when to stop. So unfortunately, after the second dab that we're about to do, I'm gonna mess it up. But you know, you're here to learn, so maybe don't do what I'm doing, but do what I'm saying. When you see it's fine, just just stop, you know? There's 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 no need to go in again. Like, look at that, that, that looks good. That looks great. And here I go again. Like, why? Look at that. And now, now, now it's messed up. See? Anyways. <sighs> yeah. So we're gonna remove now, finally, this, this liquid latex. And that always feels great. Like, I don't know why it feels so good, but it feels great. And some cleanup with, um, with a tiny, tiny um, nail art brush and some 100% acetone. Because as I said before, I'm not great at applying liquid latex and somehow I always mess up just a little bit. Now, for this manicure, I decided to try out a new top coat, a new quick dry top coat. I cannot say I really liked it, but like it was fine. I tried Essie uh, Speed Setter. You know, it's not as glossy as Sesh Vit, but I think it works fine. Like, it, like, at this point, it didn't smudge anything and it just, it dried it out quickly so that, that, you know, it's doing what a quick dry top coat has to do. 
Um, next up, with this black polish from Color Club in a striping uh, presentation, I took out a few drops of it with a tiny nail art brush to make all the lines for the wings. Because the Monarca butterfly has this very defined black uh, lines over her wings. And here as you can see, like if you remember the first design, like this looks totally like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's exactly what I envisioned at that point of, of this tutorial. Exactly. So yeah. Anyways, take a reference, like a real life reference. A picture of the butterfly and, and and things 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 will be easier I guess now I'm proceeding to mess up what was kind of looking good but this is a constant as you can see like this is what I do I just like something that looks halfway well done I just mess it up because I don't know when to stop look at that going over and over the freaking lines why oh my god so yeah this this turned out good i think not great but from far away the end result it's beautiful if you, if you close up on it like you start seeing smudges and things but if you look at look at it from afar today i was compliment complimented at the grocery shop so what else can I ask for in life? So just make sure you finish uh, filling in all the black spots of the, of the wing and then take out a dotting tool to make the white spots that are very characteristic of the Monarca butterfly. Here you have to be very careful with the, with the dotting tool because this is where when, you, when you're someone like me who doesn't know when to stop again, you can go overboard with the dots. Like here, as you can see, like right now, it would be a good time to stop. But then I don't. I just keep on. I keep on adding dots. Like they're pretty, yeah, but... Well, I could have been done without so many spots, you know? I could have been done with like five less spots than I did, or maybe even ten less spots than I did. I don't... But yeah, just, I mean... Back to the, to, to, the, to the instructions, make sure to make some smaller and some bigger dots so you have some different things in there. And finally, to fill out uh, the bottom part of the, of the butterfly wing, I'm using a glitter polish by China Glaze. It's called Glitterific. It has both some hollow specks and some silver specks and I think it looks very beautiful down there. It gives just the right pop of hollow that one everyone needs in any manicure. If y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it and consider subscribing to my channel, it would really mean the world to me. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below and check out the description box for everything I use in this tutorial. I will be uh, uploading links to everything I use so you can go check it out. And you know, leave a comment down below, was this video useful? Are you gonna try and recreate this nail art? I really want to know. Let, let me know. Um, yeah, tune in next week for another tutorial and make sure to ch check out my, my content. Thank you. See you soon.